Hey, welcome back, friends. So if you've been following the channel, especially in the last several weeks, you'll know that we have set up on a permanent RV site for at least a year. Now, we've still got a prototype to continue to travel and go to different places, but we've put our personal rig here on a yearly lease. Well, the, the, the site needs a lot of improvements. We're, gonna, we're thinking about gravel, maybe a deck, something like that. But one of the very first things I was concerned with was a fire ring. And you can see this one here. I put this one together for less than $90. We're gonna talk about it in this video. Should be a pretty short video. I hope you'll stick around. All right, friends, you can see what we've got going on here. Very simple, but at the same time, it took some research to get to this point. So I've been shopping for fire pits for about two or three weeks, and a lot of what I find are flimsy sheet metal type pits for anywhere from $59, $79, $99. And I just didn't want to spend that much money on flimsy sheet metal that's gonna rust out and bend and whatever else, it gets rusty in two seconds. First fire you have with it, then it rains, it's gonna get rusty. So I kept researching, kept researching, and this is what I have come up with. And um, here's what we've got. We've got this inner ring here. This is from Hampton Bay, Home Depot, no affiliation with them. But um, yeah, a lot of times you can find these rings on uh, Amazon or eBay or something like that, but they cost, you know, upwards 50, 80 bucks, just for a ring of steel. This one costs $30. And I like that it's got the vents on the side. You know, it's supposed to be freestanding. You're not supposed to put anything around it. Uh, that's what the advertisement says. And you can see it's got a pattern there. It's got some nice mesh around it, the inside. But I like that it's, it allows it to breathe. So I started with that. And then we just basically took retaining wall blocks. Now you can see these blocks aren't that big. They're probably about seven inches or so across. They're not the real big retaining wall blocks. And we've got 42 of those. So if you wanted to do this, you get 42 of these at $1.38 and you get this $30 ring. Ends up being about 87 bucks. So I thought it was a, a pretty good deal. Now, right now you can see these are just sitting here and that's because we may be moving sites. That's the thing about a permanent park. Uh, one of the best advices I have, we'll do a video of this soon, is to go ahead and get into the park and then you'll have first dibs on if any sites come open, if you're in the park versus somebody who's just on the list. Maybe that's not the way it should be, but that's how it is a lot of times. So anyway, I'm able, I'm able to move this still if we do move sites. And I did this for under 30 bucks. I mean, sorry, under 90 bucks. I thought that was a good deal compared to the $99 sheet metal fire rings. So anyway, guys, just a real short video. If you're in, interested in doing something like this at a permanent site or even in your backyard, obviously you'd maybe throw some uh, masonry adhesive in between the blocks or some mortar, maybe some, some heat resistant mortar if you wanted to make it permanent. But I thought this was a pretty good option for 87 bucks. Real quick video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it's useful. And as always, consider subscribing. See ya.